Boise State at Nevada, they called it the most important game of the history of the program for the Wolfpack. We pick it up second quarter after the Nevada touchdown cuts to 17-7, Boise State first and 10. Doug Martin taking it 51 yards for the touchdown. Boise State goes up 24-7. Martin 137 yards and a pair of touchdowns in the first half. We go third quarter now, fourth and two for Nevada at the 36. Colin Kaepernick incomplete to Brandon Wimberly, but pass interference called on Jamar Taylor. That'll keep the Nevada drive alive. They were down 17-0 at one point. Three plays later on third and six, Kaepernick rolls out. Dangerous passer, dangerous runner. He and Vitawa, the greatest rushing tandem in the history of Division I college football. And Kaepernick in for the touchdown. Nevada down 24-14. Next possession for Nevada. Richard Matthews on the end around. Breaking tackles. Matthews. 44-yard touchdown. Nevada down just three. And they're going nuts in Reno. 24-21 at that point. After Nevada tied it up at 24. Next possession for Boise State. Kellen Moore. The screen pass to Martin. And Martin's getting free again. Look at the move. Breaking tackles. 79-yard touchdown run for Martin. Martin's third TD of the game and Boise State just like that. They're back up 31-24. Next possession for Nevada. Kaepernick. Richard Matthews. Touchdown. Matthews 171 yards receiving. Nevada ties it up at 31. Next possession for Boise though. Still some time on the clock but only nine seconds. Kellen Moore going up top and you had to wonder if this might be his Heisman moment because Titus Young pulls it down. Unbelievable throw and catch. Boise on the nine-yard line, and they've got two seconds on the clock. So Kyle Brotsman in for what amounts to a chip shot field goal, 26 yards away, and he missed it. He missed it. So they go to overtime. In overtime, Boise gets the ball first. They try to keep Brotsman's head right, but you had to wonder where his mental state was. He gets a second chance in overtime, and he missed it again. And Boise State's BCS title game hopes the undefeated season all on the line. You can see it on Chris Peterson's faces. Teammates, Nevada gets their chance. Anthony Martinez from 34 yards away knocks it through. And Nevada wins 34-31. The party is on in Reno as the Wolfpack pull the shocker and kill Boise's championship dreams. The Wolfpack down 17 at the half. Looked like a completely different team after that. Nevada gained twice as many yards after halftime as they did before it and held Boise to just one of six on third down opportunities after the break to pull the upset. We need more from Joe Tessator and company. Stan, they are still partying here in Reno. An amazing 34 to 31 thriller in overtime, Rod. Everybody here is catching their breath. That comeback by Nevada, outscoring Boise 27-7 in the second half. It was taking the look of a typical Boise game. Yeah. They're up 17-zip. They're doing everything they mm -hmm. want to do. They've got the running game. They've got Kellen Moore comfortable mm -hmm. passing the ball. And then somehow, some way, Nevada started to work their way back. Well, they started to work their way back on defense of all things. You know, Dante Moak started pressuring and knocking Kellen Moore around. We've seen Kellen Moore a lot. We've not seen Kellen Moore hit like he was hit tonight. They got into the backfield. They disrupted the rhythm and flow of that offense. And Boise State could not get things going on a regular basis. That Nevada defense, of all things, got it turned around in the second half and bought some time for the Nevada offense to find their sea legs. Well, on that Nevada offense, and I know for a lot of college football fans out there, they've heard the names. Yeah. They've seen the stats. But tonight, you got a good look at just how good Vi Tawa and Colin Kaepernick are as a duo. And as we told you, in terms of rushing the ball, they are now number one all time in terms of the best running duo ever. Here's the night between these two. Well, uh, surpassing the Pony Express as a dynamic duo running the football. But Colin Kaepernick did it with his arm in the first half and in the third quarter when they needed it. He threw the football. We talked about that early, that he needed to do it. He came through with that. Vitao was the inside presence, running the ball inside, creating lanes so that they could get things done. It opened up things running later for them. 
So, so much of that was really the throwing early and the inside running that really helped them. Yeah, by the way, Rashard Matthews had 10 catches for 172 yards. You know, and we spoke with Kaepernick and Chris Alt, the head coach this week, and there was such an emphasis being put on, hey, this is the night. We've been good for many yeah. years. We're 19th in the country. We're 10 and 1. But unless we accomplish this tonight, none of that matters. And they did. But there was the almost miracle finish for Titus Young. Yeah, a great catch. How do you let him get behind the defense? Nine seconds ago, they missed what would have been the game-winning field goal. You go to overtime, you figure you have that wrapped up when they have the chance to kick a field goal, and they missed that as well. Kyle Bronsman, he misses the 26-yarder in regulation, would have won it. Then he misses the 29-yarder in overtime, so it set it up for young little Anthony Martinez. Anthony Martinez isn't going to get much sleep tonight. No, and Boise State did not use their timeout to freeze the youngster, and that might have been a mistake. Afterwards, David Diaz and Fonte caught up with Colin Kaepernick. Colin, your senior year, tell me what's going through your mind walking on the field with your parents before the game today. Um, just thinking about this, my last time in Mackey Stadium with my teammates, with these great fans. Um, had to lay it all on the line tonight. Talk to us about the persistence that took place. You guys struggled in the first half, but really came through in a big way as your defense rallied you guys in the second half. Um, we knew if we weathered the storm the first half, we'd be all right. They like to try to jump out to a big lead and not let you recover. We kept it close. Second half, we came back. What does it say about the Nevada Wolfpack? You talked about your senior class. It'd be incomplete without a WAC championship. Well, here you go, Colin. Oh, uh, it's an amazing feeling right now. I can't even explain it. <laughs> All right, Colin. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Colin Kaepernick. And now Nevada, 6-1. and one. We got that three-way tie. Co-champions in the WAC. 11-1. Rod, here's the point to make on Nevada. This is a very good football team. Absolutely. A, a football team that a lot of people don't know about. We saw this game coming all season long, and we knew it would be a big one and it would have serious implications for Nevada and for Boise State, more so for Nevada now. An absolute thriller in Reno. They pull off the upset 34-31.